Welcome to the Crochet Channel, the best place in the world to learn crochet online. It's great you are here today because it is always a great day to crochet. In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet a buck coiper. The size of this buck coiper pattern is 4x4 four four inches. The materials we will use are 4 ply cotton yarn, 2.5mm crochet hook. 8.5 cm metal coipers frame. Stuffing, save the eyes and nose. Thread, needle, scissors, and yuhu glue. This is so exciting! Let's get started! If you like crochet or chocolate, or you just want to be a nice person, click like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on your crochet channel videos. Yay! Making the body of the coipers. Next, we are going to crochet the body of the coipers. So, create a magic circle. And then crochet chaining four. One, two, three, four. And then crochet one double crochet into the magic circle. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull it through the first two loop. Yarn over, pull it through. And then crochet chaining one. And then next, one double crochet. So keep repeating chaining one and one double crochet for 11 times. So keep continuing and see you when you have finished it. I have finished it, so we can check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then slip stitch from the third chain 1, 2, 3 and pull the tail to be tightened Now we have created the first round. So for the second round, crochet slip stitch in the next stitch from here. And then crochet chaining three. One, two, and three. And then crochet two double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull it through. Only the first two loop. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull it through. Now there are three loops on your crochet hook. So yarn over, pull everything together. And then crochet chaining two. One and two. And then crochet three double crochet cluster in the next chain space. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull it through the first two loop, and leave the two loop left. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull it through the first two loop. Two already and the third one. Yarn over, insert the hook. Pull it through the first two loops. Now there are four loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull everything together. And then crochet chain two. One and two. So keep repeating 
3 double crochet cluster and chaining 2 in every chain space all the way around and you will have 12 clusters keep continuing and see you when you have finished now I have finished and let's count together 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then slip stitch at the top from here now I have finished it with the second row so for the third row slip stitch from this chain space and then crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 and crochet 2 double crochet cluster and then pull it through chaining 2 1 and 2 and the next one 3 double crochet cluster and then yarn over pull everything together for the third row we have to make two cluster in one space okay I will show you one more time chaining two and then three double crochet cluster in the next chain space one two Three, and then pull everything together chaining two one and two three double crochet cluster in the chain space and then yarn over pull everything together so keep repeating two cluster in one space, two cluster in one space, and chaining two. So keep continuing all the way around and see you when you have finished. Now I have finished it with the third row. As you can see, two cluster in one space. And then slip stitch from the top of the cluster and then slip stitch in the next chain space and then we are going to crochet the fourth row crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 and then crochet 2 double crochet cluster one and two chaining two next three double crochet cluster one two three and then pull everything together and then chaining two so keep repeating three double crochet cluster and chain in two in every chain space all the way around for the fourth round and the fifth round so keep continuing and see you when you have finished it now we have finished it with the fifth round one Two, three, four, five, 
the fourth round after you finish slip stitch from here and slip stitch from here and then have chaining three so to start the sixth round crochet chain one and then crochet 48 single crochets so insert the hook one single crochet and one single crochet in the two chain space one two and three and four so we will crochet one single crochet from the top of the cluster and in the chain space the cluster chain space all the way around so keep repeating and see you when you have finished it now I have finished it with all my 48 single crochet stitches so we are going to join the sixth row by crochet slip stitch from the first single crochet and then crochet chaining one to start the seventh round. So we will repeat the sixth round, 48 single crochet until the 15th round. So crochet one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So keep continuing and see you at the end of the 15th round. Now I am on the 15th round. So to join the 15th round, slip stitch from the first single crochet. And then to start the 16th round, chaining one. And then we are going to crochet three single crochet decrease. One. 2 and 3 and now 4 loops on your crochet hook yarn over and then pull all through next crochet 3 single crochet 1 2 and 3 and then crochet 3 half double crochets yarn over insert the hook Yarn over again and pull it through three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull it through two half double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull it through. Now we have three half double crochets. Next, crochet nine double crochet stitches. Yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull it through the first two loop. Yarn over, pull it through the left two loop left. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and then we are going to crochet three half double crochet. One, two, and three, and then crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then crochet three single crochet decrease. One, two, and three. And then yarn over, pull it through. Next, three single crochet. One, Two, three, 
the next one is three half double crochet yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull it through one two three next we are going to crochet nine double crochet so yarn over insert the hook and then yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull it through. So keep continuing more eight double crochets. And see you when you have finished. Now I have finished with the nine double crochet stitches. So next I'm going to crochet three half double crochets. So yarn over, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull it through. One. Two, three, and three, and the next one, three single crochets. One, two, and three, and then slip stitch from the first single crochet. And then chaining one. Now we have finished just with the body of the coil pads. So let's check again. So on the corner is three double crochet decrease and then three single crochet, three half double crochets, and in the middle is nine double crochets, three half double crochet, three single crochet. And three single crochet decrease and another size is the same at the front so we are going to fasten off and pull it through and then we can hide the yarn by weave in our ends Oh, it's awesome! You are awesome! Making the Koi Purse Decoration Next, we are going to crochet the head So, make a magic circle And then crochet chaining one. And next crochet six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then pull the yarn tail. Draw the first row by crochet slip stitch from the first single crochet and then for the second row crochet chaining one and then two single crochet increase in every stitch all the way around and you will have 12 single crochets 1 2 3 4 5 12 and then join the second round Next we are going to crochet the third round by crochet chaining one and then one single crochet and two single crochet increase and the next one repeat for three times 
the first time. The second time. And the third time. Next, we chain to be white yarn. And another single crochet. And chain. And one single crochet in the same hook. The next one is two one single crochet and two single crochet increase one single crochet and two single crochet increase and join the third round for the fifth for the fourth round crochet chaining one and then crochet two single crochet and two single crochet increase repeat for three times first time two times Three times and chain to be white and then two single crochet one and two chain and two single crochet increase. And then repeat two single crochet and two single crochet increase for two times. One time. Two times. And then join the fourth round. For the fifth round and sixth round, crochet chaining one and one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. No increase. And then chain yarn to be white from here. Only two single crochet. One and two. And then join the fifth round. So for the sixth round, repeat from the fifth round. So keep continuing and see you when you have finished it. Now I have finished it with the sixth round. So crochet chaining one. And then fasten all. And leave a long tail for solving. Well done! Next, we are going to crochet with the ears. So, make a magic circle. And then crochet chain one. 
and crochet six single crochet one two three four five six and then pull the tail And then join the first round by crochet slip stitch. And for the second round, crochet chaining one. And then crochet one single crochet and two single crochet increase. One single crochet, two single crochet increase. Keep repeating about three times. Two times. Three times. And then join the second row slip stitch from the first single crochet. For the third round to the fourth round, crochet, chaining one, and then one single crochet all the way around. And join with slip stitch and keep repeating from the third row to the fourth row keep continuing and I will see you when you have finished it now I have finished with the fourth row so crochet chain one and leave a long tail for solving So create a magic circle and then crochet chaining one and then crochet six single crochets one two three four five And then pull the tail and the second row crochet chaining one and then one single crochet and two single crochet increase repeat for three times one and one two One and one, two, and join the second round by slip stitch, and then crochet chain one for the third round, and crochet one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And then join with slip stitch and chaining one. First enough and leave a long tail for solving. We are going to crochet dog feet. So first create a slip knot. I 
and then crochet chaining two, one and two, and then crochet three single crochet increase in the second chain from hook. One, two, and three, and then turn. So crochet three single crochet. One, two, and then chain to be white yarn. Turn your work and crochet three single crochet one. Two and three, and then crochet chain one. And then weave in all ends. Sew the muscle, ears, and feet onto the face by sewing with overcast stitch. Attach the safety eyes and nose by using glue. Attaching the Kuiper's body to the metal frame.
decorating the coppers by hand sewing. I am sure you will enjoy crocheting with the crochet project as much as I did. Also, it would be very nice if you could share my videos with everyone on Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss out on your next videos. And remember, it is always a great day to crochet. Yay!